Hey, do you know what today is? Yes, it is Chinese New Year. That is not what we are talking about. It is the first day of tax filing season, and that means you are free to file. Or if you already have, the IRS will start processing your return. We know you have tax questions. We know you have questions about how your stimulus will be impacted. So we have three experts to get you answers. Mark Hensley from AARP North Carolina Triad Region, Kevin Robinson from Robinson Tax and Accounting, and Scott Braddock with Scott Braddock Financial. They are all your experts today to ask questions one-on-one. -on -one. Here's how you do that. You text those questions, 336. 379-5775. Again, this is text only. Do not call. Text only. Do not call. All right. So we've got our three experts here. What I want you to know first and foremost, in case you missed it, is that the IRS opened up tax filing season today. That means you can start filing your taxes now. As we know it right now, April 15th is still tax day. They did not move it like they moved it last year. April 15th is tax day. With your tax return in mind, Kevin, let's start out there. Um, the IRS is really pushing people to e-file. Yes, that's a very uh, valid point, Tanya, and it's really, it's, it's the safest way to do it. And of course, we know that if, if people, the quicker that people can e-file, the quicker they can get their refund and get their tax filed and also present, prevent identity theft and any mail delays. As we know, the mail system itself has had a lot of delays. So it's quicker, safer to e-file. You can get electronic acknowledgement usually within a few hours. So it is the way to go. And I know for me, it's the way I have to go. Uh, since I've, I'm paid for more than 10 returns, I have to e-file or file a form telling why I'm not doing it. Okay, gotcha. All right, so e-filing is the way to go, and you can e-file for free. It is in the two wants to know section right now. We've got lots of links to help you. All right, next on the list, what you're going to be talking about is stimulus, as in stimulus number three. So, Mark, where are we with stimulus number three? So, as of just a few hours ago, the news looks really, really good. Um, the Biden administration promised that every American would get an additional $1,400 has been debated since uh, since they went into all of office in January. And now those are starting to really simmer down. And so it's looking like the proposal would mirror the last two stimulus packages, meaning that an individual with an adjusted gross income of $75,000 or less would get a $1,400 payment. Of course, if it's jointly married filing jointly, that amount doubles to an adjusted gross income of $150,000. So it's looking very favorable. And Nancy Pelosi was quoted today as saying, if negotiations go as planned, they should be able to start processing payments out to Americans by the end of this month. All right. So maybe by the end of this month, as in February, end of this month? Yes. Hmm. End of February. Okay, we'll see what happens with that. In the meantime, one of the most common questions we get about the stimulus is, where is the stimulus money coming from? Are they taking it from our 401ks? Are they using my tax money for it? So Scott, let's answer that. Well, fortunately, they're not taking it from your 401k. And <laughs> they're also not using our tax money because uh, our country runs on a deficit. We spend more than what we take in. Uh, so here's um, an idea of what transpires here. So the Treasury Department, what they do once a bill is passed, like such a stimulus, is they're going to create debt instruments such as T-bills, notes, and bonds. And then their job is to sell those. They're going to sell those to ordinary investors, uh, institutional investors, and then also sovereign governments. Uh, however, the big player here is the Federal Reserve. Now, they have a special option here where they can actually print money. Now, it's not printing money. Uh, like you may think, where money's just flying off the printing press. That's not how it works today in the digital era. Uh, they're just simply going to uh, put the numbers on the screen and transfer that money over to the Treasury and buy up a lot of those debt instruments. That, in turn, is going to show up on the asset uh, balance sheet for the Federal Reserve. And that is really actually inflated over the last year. We're looking at close to $9 trillion. Uh, so just a side note here, the real concern moving forward is going to be inflation. Uh, the government needs to do a really good job and know when to taper back some of these uh, support methods, such as the PPP loans, the Main Street loans, and of course, stimulus as well. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start taking your questions coming up in the next segment. You can text us those questions, 336-379-5775. Already in the queue, we have, are, is my stimulus money taxed? 
Is the tax deadline extended? What happens if I got my last stimulus check in January instead of December? What year do I claim it on? We're gonna answer all those questions and more coming up.